In this video, we're gonna do an upgrade from Adjustment 10.10.1 to Windows 10, and this is all done on the Acer E Machine E720. Let's kill the bits. On air, hello YouTube, this is Puck. How are you doing? Well, I'm here with my uh, machine and I'm gonna do an upgrade from Mac OS X 10.10.1 to Windows 10 build. 10,130 so um, you will be like how oh, you mean you're gonna upgrade adjustment to Windows adjustment isn't that for Mac yes it is for Mac but I have a adjustment machine here and uh, well I just killed it in fact you could see it in my previous video and here it is I just removed everything from it and I burned a Windows 10 bootable 10,130 DVD and we're gonna boot up with a DVD there we go And um, <clears throat> well, this is gonna be a complete, fresh, and brand new install on this Acer E machine that run Jasmit in our previous video. As you could see, uh, we killed the machine, and uh, yeah, we're now installing Windows 10. In fact, I had a video about the killing but I just deleted it because uh, while partitioning I created an extra partition this drive is 150 gigabytes or 160 and I created one from 100 for Windows 10 and one of 50 something for some other operating system but then I selected the small drive for the installer and the installer started so I just turned it off you know and started all over again but then I lost the part of where I'm you know really killing Jasmine <laughs> I just deleted the video to spare some uh, some space on the phone because I do want to uh, record this video because in our previous Windows 10 um, test video on this machine we also had a problem with uh, the start menu it was not working and maybe that came because we started with 9926 because um, the 10074 was available and I downloaded that ISO but then I created a bootable USB and you know booted from the USB and at the part of the installer where we can choose for our hard drives it said no hard drives found so you know I did have the, the 9926 and in fact I could have popped in that uh, CD to get the drivers I thought of later on when it was too late so when it couldn't find you know the hard hard drives I simply uh, started the machine with the 9926 did the upgrade to 1074 and from 1074 to 10 one three zero but today I, I checked on the Microsoft website and I saw that the 10130 was available so that was uh, yeah that was a surprise so I thought well let me download it so I downloaded it I will put the download links uh, in the description of course I went for the 32 bit and I don't have to tell you why I have only two gigabytes of memory in this machine so no need to install four gigabyte or I mean 64 bit up here we will go for a custom install here you can see the drives um, I'm just gonna delete all again delete and the 350 megabyte that Windows just created so now uh, we're gonna select this drive we're gonna create one new drive because I want an extra partition so that's gonna be hundred thousand MB 
that makes hundred gigabytes. Okay, though. So, and then we just select the ninety-seven point three gigabytes that represents the hundred gigabyte uh, partition. And we're gonna do some installing. So we can go look at the screen, but let's have some common sense here. I'll get to you uh, after this screen is done. Okay, this is the second boot. We just rebooted. It went so fast that I could not even grab the camera to film it, but hey, it was just a reboot, yo. Nothing special, just a reboot. And now we get the black screen of waiting. This is not the black screen of that, but this is the black screen of wait a second, hold on. We are testing your screen. We are uh, at this moment discovering your hardware. So sit back and relax. Don't complain, make yourself a cup of tea, you know. listen to some cool music and there we're gonna go install some uh, devices so when this is done I'm gonna get back to you. and after another reboot we just got to the screen and here in the screen you will be able to search and log in with your Wi-Fi if you don't want to do that um, you can also skip the test or this this step um, and what's the difference between skipping the test the step <laughs> and connecting well if you connect then you must log on with uh, your Windows account but then again this is a, uh, yeah it's a test machine for me so I just want to log on with a local account for now so we're just gonna log on with a local account so we get to this screen if we don't select the Wi-Fi and we can log in using Express settings but here in the corner you also see customized settings because this is a test machine and not the official you know I will go for customized settings and uh, personalize your speech typing and inking by sending context and calendar data along to Microsoft no send typing and inking data to Microsoft to improve the recognition uh, no I'm not gonna do that uh, let apps use your advertising ID I'm not gonna do that and uh, location let Windows apps request your location well I can set that later okay so I'm gonna hit next browser and protection use smart screen um, in Windows browser use Prediction to preload page. I, I that's always you know stocking my machine up. Automatically connect to suggest open hotspots. Uh, no. Uh, automatically connect to network shared by your contacts. No. Um, send problems to Microsoft. Of course I will. I will do that. But I do that via the inside insider app. So now we just set this up and we're gonna wait to get to the home screen. In this next screen, you will have to create an account. I will call it uh, Acer 10. And I will not set a password, so you know, it's all good. And the instruction at bloody blah, blah memory at the click OK to terminate program. Signing out. Hi. We're setting things up for you. I don't know what that was. And some minutes later, not so long, we are started up. And our start screen is working. Yay! Okay, that looks kind of impressive. Check the all apps. Looks good. So there you go, Windows 10 installed on the, on the Acer E-Machine 10. We just uh, killed Josimit and we now have Windows 10 installed. 
so now I'm just gonna set it up a little bit the way I like it and uh, here we have the sidebar I think yep we can go to all settings fantastic so I'm gonna set some uh, little uh, add-ons to the system to you know such as my beautiful rocket dock at the bottom I have a special one I don't even know where it is let's see where it is I think it should be on this stick you pop in uh, a stick let's bring some icons on the desktop uh, lock screen choose the third sure. So where do I find my computer icon and all my my icons? Where did they go? Desktop icon settings. Ah, there they are. Okay, thank God. I really need you guys, man. So the birds are whistling again. And we see that uh, the icons look really nice, eh? 3d flat icons go to the properties this looks good activate windows oh we must activate windows i'm not connected to the internet yet let's look in the device manager and we see that all drivers are found except for the video driver that one we must update ourselves and then we will get a higher resolution as well <clears throat> let me see something here okay now I'm gonna do some magic I'm gonna bring in a program here gonna plant it no 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 you must put it on C not in A V if I not that here this must delete so now go to C and look at my bottom uh, bar Boom! See that? Dang! And <coughs> this we can just pop out. Doof! 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 And we take the new computer icon and we pop it in there somewhere. Maybe I can even move it around there. Yep. The network comes beside my computer. There. And the trash can is already done. Control panel goes here. Opa. You see that peeps? Looks nice, eh? And this, the start, will bring us to Project Spartan. So, okay, the start makes no sense, so I'm gonna dock settings. So, this is better. Let's also go to the dock settings. Set it to start up with Windows. Um, icons, no bubble. Maybe just a little bit bigger. Yep. By the way, this rocket dock is also closing. Uh, it's hiding the the build number. So that is kind of a little bit sad. 
but then again, it's not so important. We all know which build number this is, right? Good. So that's it, my people. It's installed. And uh, oh, what is this? And this is my ah, okay. So if you just click this, this in fact, if you click the start menu, you come into Metro, and then you must click something else under it and then you come in here see that so that's really nice but I will never use my system like this so um, yeah so that was a fun install right good well let me see what time is it Ooh, it's very very late it's 18 minutes past four. I think it's time for me to, you know, to go to bed, you know, it's a little bit late, but this was uh, the install. I hope you liked this video. If you did, like, subscribe, and till my next video.